Welcome to Cash Grab, the podcast where we look at franchises that have been turned into video games and determine whether or not they are cash grabs. My name's Adam. My name is Tom. And I'm Steph. Why do you always pull it off when we're in the deepest depths of laughter? Yeah, so like Adam says it, he does the intro that he fucks up, and then like me and Tom start laughing, and then bang, Adam is back in, and me and Tom are in recovery. We, we, That's why we're still in recovery. When it starts, me and Tom just aren't... Because when you're laughing, ready. you're not <laughs> looking at me, ready. you're not listening to me, and I don't get as nervous. Adam, oh, oh that's that's a good point. That's cute. Now I'm nervous again. Are you? Stop looking at me. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> okay, hell. You see why we've had him on less recently? He's <laughs> 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 hard work. Anyway, how are you? Me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks, Tom. That's, yeah. that's swell. Uh... Yeah, all good. What's been happening? Stop kicking the table. Sorry. Why <laughs> <laughs> well, you finish that with would you? <laughs> that would makes you? It, you know, like in like nineteen fifties, like New York and stuff. Like, keep it down in there, will ya? <laughs> like that. It's just like that. <laughs> I want to end every like cuss with will ya. I'm getting see? ready for my. Uh, yeah, see. See, I'm getting hey, ready see? for my trip to America. I'm trying to become. But you're going American. Florida. I'm going Florida, but I'm gonna. In New York, <laughs> 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 and Englishman New Yorker in, in Florida. Florida. It's gonna be good. It's <laughs> like Sting Part Four or some shit. What? Anyway, what have you been up <laughs> to? Oh, yeah, yeah. uh, I've been up to absolutely nothing. Um, Again? Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> I don't know what I do ever. What do I do? Try and look. Yeah, can you? Is it possible for you to recount the past uh, hour? Yeah, yeah we watched with you. The we film watched and played thing. the game. Can yeah. you recount the hour beyond that? I. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you see, this is uh... why. You see, this is why you have no, trouble. No, I know what I did. I did. I did. I... I'll go backwards. So I drove here. <laughs> before that, I put on a jumper. Before that, I was watching something on TV. <laughs> what the fuck? What? I'm just genuine. Uh... You see, this is the thing. Stop. You... I, that... What do you mean, stop? Travel man. Oh, travel man. Yeah. I like travel man. Yeah. Richard, we Richard Red. Red. That's the one. He's I've brilliant. not watched it. Oh, it's really yeah, good. Yeah, it's good. Watch yeah? It. It's quintessentially British, so if you're not British, you probably don't know what we're talking about. We're talking about a show called Travel Man. It's quintessentially it's British. If you're yeah, not British, good, yeah. you probably won't get it. Yeah, but you could still watch it. And I see you think you get get a lot out of it. It's Channel 4, isn't it? <clears throat> if, watch it over, if they're overseas territories, they can't access Channel 4. Use a proxy. What's Use a VPN. Yeah, VPN. All right. Fucking hell! It's like that. Here. It's like that movie Hackers with Keanu Reeves, yeah. where yeah, they're all I, I hackers. Know how to hack. You just, you know, just, just. just is this is this the bit where all, <laughs> all the people all they hear is, <laughs> <laughs> and that's how I got into the Pentagon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's so simple. you've been doing nothing. Yeah. So what have you been doing, Tom? Um. Oh yeah. Carry on. Yeah. No, don't, um, don't, no. Don't, 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 don't get it. I won't. Um, <laughs> Like, uh, what have I been doing? I'm I'm suffering from similar symptoms to you, I think, Adam. I've had memory so loss. So what game are you playing? The Witcher? No. Uh, we, we, are we doing guess? Are Resident we are we Evil? playing guess what are Tom's still playing, playing? Still playing Resident Evil? No. Um, fight Night, round four. Jesus. I don't have a console. Def oh. Jam, fight for New York. <laughs> no. Oh, great. That. That, that was great, wasn't that was it? A great I've game. still got it. Okay. On the PS2, yeah. Oh, that was kind and of Def Jam a... Vendetta, the first one. Can we do that for Cash Grab? Can we? Can we Def Jam is a franchise. It is a franchise. We just watched some stand up comedy. <laughs> Wasn't it a record label as well? Oh. Yeah, they had loads of stuff. They had like Def Jam comedy. Def They've Jam. got clothes, clothing lines. They've got everything. <laughs> it would be a bit boring watching clothes for an hour. Yeah. Well, half we could hour. try them on. Half hour clothes. <laughs> yeah, you can return we can them after. Fashion yeah. montage. For yeah, the video. we 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 don't don't have just keep the labels in. Return them afterwards. Get money back. We can do that. Why don't we do it in the store? Where's a Def Jam <laughs> store in <laughs> Barnet? <laughs> <laughs> Have you not seen that yeah. new place? <laughs> <laughs> it's just open. Budgins has a department the Barnet, for it. The, the Barnet Def Jam branch, you know. Yeah. It. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's in Budgins. Asda's got like a fucking section, a Def Jam <laughs> section. <laughs> yeah, it's next to the Fat Farm section. That's also a rap clothing line. Oh, is it? Run by Ludacris, I think. Run by Ludacris? Is he there crunching the numbers? 
Is he? They don't yeah. call him. They don't Santa call him the boss man. They don't call him ludicrous because he says outrageous <laughs> things. They call him ludicrous because he's a mathematician and he does all this wizard. stuff. He's like Rain Man. He's but they called him ludicrous because the name Rain Man was taken. So he does all this stuff on the paper and <laughs> math stuff. And they look at it and they go, "Oh, it's ludicrous, Fucking ludicrous that." And then it just it just stuck. And he was like, "My name is Peter." But they. <laughs> You're meant to be doing a posh accent. I'm just thinking. <laughs> oh, sorry, I revealed it. Um, I've been playing New and Tasty. Oh yeah, yeah, Abe's, Abe's Odyssey. What on earth is New and Tasty? It's uh, they remastered Abe's Odyssey. What? Yeah, it was a while ago. It's like it 2015. It came up. Ago. I've had it for ages, and I've just never got round. I to think it. I've had it as well, but I never got to it. And it's absolutely fucking fantastic. There is one problem. Well, there are a couple problems. So the original was hard as fucking tits. Yes. It's a difficult game. Um, and partly like that Earth is. Earthworm Jim. Was Earthworm Jim really difficult? <laughs> <laughs> I guess. I mean, I found it difficult. <laughs> <laughs> How do you strike me as a type of person who finds life quite difficult? <laughs> You're meant to be talking with a posh accent. Memory. <laughs> memory, memory difficult. Memory difficult. <laughs> um, yeah, so the problem is, like, part of the difficulty was because it was designed to be very complicated. <coughs> but at the same time, the controls were kind of janky. You know, it's PlayStation yeah, 1, yeah, yeah. it was early. But that was kind of its charm in a way. Once you got used to it, it did uh, become quite fluent. And it added to the difficulty, it made it more of a challenge. Um, they've kind of updated the controls, and in some circumstances, it's kind of way too fucking easy. There are bits I remember, like when you go back into Rupture Farm, some of the more complicated puzzles, ones where there's a lot of kind of, you know, fast pace, like running, jumping, blah, 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 yeah, blah. Yeah. And then to a slow pace, instantly sneaking. And it's naturally a bit too easy. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Are you alright today? No, I'm fine. What have you taken? You're meant to be speaking with a posh accent. <laughs> I'm, right, right, I'm so fine. It's, I'll give so a it's a, on that. Oh, okay. So you think it's a bit too easy? From what I remember, yeah. It's, it's like, I mean, it has got a hard mode. So, I mean... I'm playing it on normal, because I'd assume normal would be... It said, this is the classic experience, and it's not, from what I remember. It's fucking great. Like, they've done an amazing job of it. Uh, another issue is Abe's voice. Abe's voice isn't great. Is it not just the same voice? <coughs> no. There it is. No, sorry. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's not the same voice. It's, it's different, and I don't like it. I'm not a fan of it. So that's, that's one problem I've got, and the other problem is the difficulty thing. But, but other good. than that, it's fantastic. It's still that old game that I absolutely adore and still one of my favourites of all time. So I'm loving it. That's me. What What about you? I was going to point yeah. with the mic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm still playing Mario Odyssey. It's still, still loving great. it. Great. Uh, I think I'm on the final level now. Yeah. Yeah, I won't tell. I won't say what it is because I don't want to spoil anything. Because when I got there, I thought it was really cool. Mm. Uh, I'll tell you guys afterwards. Bowser's okay. Castle. Well done. It's, it no is, way. Yeah, it's Bowser's Castle. It's always Bowser's <laughs> fucking castle. Oh, right, but it's, it's the setting that they've done in it, which that makes it really Oh, cool. yeah, yeah. We can believe that. I'm out. waiting for you to we spoil that one. <laughs> no, yeah, no. I, I haven't played it. Well, I've just got to his castle. It's Bowser's Castle. Syria. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and it's, it's, it's really cool. Um, like, I feel like I've done quite a good job getting the moons, mm. but I... There's Does it have no... a percentage? Of... No, but I think there's nine, no, 880 or something like that, moons, something. Fucking hell. Like, I think I'm 239. Fucking hell. Something like that. So, um, needless but... to say, there's going to be some replayability after Well, the thing is, most, the most of like, the podcasts I've listened to and talk about have said the game doesn't truly start till you beat Bowser and complete that. And the end game, like after you've beaten Bowser and you've started onto that bit, is where the game like properly Fuck. gets into it. So like the main, the, so the storyline, you can do in like six to eight hours. Yeah. But the actual game is fucking huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like I thought, oh yeah, I'll try and get as many like moons as I can in each level. Mm. And as I've been going on, I've heard all this. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna come back here anyway. Yeah. So I get like the simple moons that are quite easy and still enjoy exploring the world and all that. But like. Yeah. Now I've just been like, yeah, fuck it. I only need 10 stars. Well, I'll get 10 moons rather than like, yeah. like 30. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like yeah. properly going for it. So like, I have been taking a bit longer, but... I didn't realise really the fucking now. scale of it, to be honest. Yeah, it's massive. It's weird to think that um, <clears throat> I was considered uh, Mario 64 
a big deal when I was younger. As in, like, it's a big it's game. Hu- it was huge yeah. when it came it was out. Big. Yeah, yeah. But what's that? 120 stars. Yeah. 880. But the thing is, these, these are moons? everywhere. Like to the point where, like, some of them are. There's like a a bulge in the ground, and you bum jump onto that, whatever it is. You know, when you jump and slam your bum on the floor. You do that and Rikishi, then the movie comes out. Rikishi bottom. Yeah. The yeah. stink face. The stink, stink face. face. Yeah. So when you've done that, and you might get a moon or like you... Or it might just be Kevin Spacey hiding underneath <laughs> the sand. <laughs> 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 Waiting um, for somebody to bum drop on it. Yeah, so some of them are like really easy. Like some of them are just literally get here and you mm. get a moon. Yeah. yeah. And, then, and then obviously you've got the more puzzly, difficult ones. Um, so you feel like you're doing really, and the game does a really good job of making you feel like you're doing a really good job. Yes. So you're it's, like, it's continuously you're like, oh rewarding. yeah, I'm smashing, I'm getting so many moves. It's only when you go to your like level selects and you click like click list and you see that you've still got like 40 moons to find on that level. It's you're fucking like, Where crazy, the fuck are 40 more moons? I, I can see a lot. I, you know, before when you're talking about, you're saying a lot, of, talking a lot between Mario Odyssey and Breath of the Wild. Yes. I yes. can see that with the whole Breath of the Wild thing as well, because think about the fucking Korok seeds. When that's you think, what, that's what I've done fucking to. loads of them, I've got like 80 of them, and then you look at a list and it's like, you know. There's levels like 900 Korok seeds. Yeah. And it's, that's, it, that's, it, it's, the same it's reminiscent, thing, like, yeah. Like last night was a classic example. I was like, oh, I'm tired. I might play for like half hour. Yeah. So I was playing along, and then I was like, oh, I just thought we go to bed now. And then I was like, oh, I'll just quickly do this. And then you do that. And you're like, what's that over there? And it, it's just. It does You're such constantly, a good job of just, just yeah, always yeah, engage, yeah, yeah, to yeah, go yeah, and explore. Yeah, yeah. I, I have it a, is so good. Yeah, I have a question about it. Is it a bit too easy? No. It's not? I wouldn't say so. The, that, I mean, like, the storyline is, like, it's quite easy in the fact that like, the storyline's easy. You, anyone can play it. Yeah. But apparently it gets much more difficult. Okay, But, like, yeah. the bosses are easy, yeah, but they always are in Mario games, isn't they? Yeah, uh, it's one of the things I, I kind of been struggling with with more recent Mario games, especially the the one before it, which I had on the Wii U. 3D World? I fucking forget, because they're all, like, Super Mario 3D fucking pantaloons. But it was, like, 3D. You know, <laughs> it's, like, they're just 3D something, 3D this, yeah, that, and like the other. It was, like, 3D Land and then 3D World, I think it was. On yeah, and one was on the 3DS, yeah. which you'd expect. They've both got 3D, and then one of them was 3D something or other on the Wii U, and I, I mean, my fucking brain's hurting just talking about it. Yeah. But I had one of those, and that was remarkably fucking easy. Like, beyond but the I bosses and stuff, like, the extra stuff. Did you do the stuff. end game as well? Yeah, like, I had, like, all the stamps. I had, I, I was missing, like, two stars out of, I think there were 300 in it. I was missing two and this didn't take long. It's fucking easy. Mm. Like there was like no challenge in it. And I get like it's trying to appeal to a younger generation and yeah. you know, but at the same time, like we were a younger generation once playing Mario and I love the way you tried to put it down oh. your mic. You tried to put down his mic quietly <laughs> and we both it. drew attention to it. <laughs> what are you doing? She's but yeah. Sweet. So like we were playing Mario when it was fucking rock hard when we were young. Yeah. I was playing Super Mario like World for the Game Boy, and it was fucking ridiculously yeah, that was hard. Yeah, hard that one. But um, no, I think this this one does a great job of the difficulty differences, mm. where because because it's not like oh like Mario sixty four, you went into the level to get one star, it was show you where the star was, and quite often it was like a you know you got like the lava land for example, you had to uh, like get around all that shit, and then you have to yeah. beat those bullies who would easily push you off and all that mm, kind of stuff. Mm, but this mm. one has that, but because there's so many. When you find one that is difficult, you then find like three that are easy. So you right, don't really yeah, yeah. like you don't really notice the difficulty. Or I haven't really noticed it anyway. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, but I haven't finished it yet. So well, that's it. And like I they say, it opens up more once you're done. Later on. Yeah, it's great though. And I got Mario Kart. So we'll play that soon. Yeah, fucking brilliant. You can't go wrong with Mario Kart. Yeah, I'm still most fond of the SNES one though. I can't help it. I think the Wii U one. Mario Kart. Yeah, the I'm f- sure the I first one. It. You must have. No, yeah, no, yeah. I, I wasn't. Super Mario Kart. <laughs> I played it not long ago. No, the game. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Mario Kart, just in case you're forgetting. <laughs> <laughs> it has Super at the beginning. I think the Wii U one was probably my favourite, so I'm guessing the Mario Kart 8 Switch is going to be my new favourite because mm. it's the same game, but better. What have they added to it? More characters, more tracks. Oh, fucking. Well, so, that's, that's it, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, that I is think that's going to be my favourite. I, I haven't played it yet. I got it yesterday. I haven't actually played it. Fucking brilliant. Yeah. So. Is it time we move on Should to the subject at hand? So, yes. so, today, ladies and germs, we are doing Power Rangers. Not any old Power, Power Rangers. Power Rangers! That one. 
the movie Power Rangers, <laughs> where they sing all the time. Yeah. It's like La La Land. Yeah. Yeah. It's like La La Land, but with much better acting than Ryan Gosling. Yeah. I've More like it. Sweeney Todd. You've seen La La Land, haven't you? Yeah, it's shit. La La, La Land... I I'm I'm doing I'm doing it again, aren't I? I transitioned into what we're actually talking about and, and then transitioned <laughs> right back, back out of it. Yeah, else. basically Ryan Gosling has all the charisma of uh, uh, a, a, a cadaver. Oh, not not even a wet blanket. A wet blanket has infinitely more charisma than Ryan Gosling. He is like a recently deceased person. Yeah, I haven't seen it. Yeah. So Power Rangers. So Power Rangers the movie. This was released. In June 1995, June 30th, to be more precise. So right uh, in the middle of summer, basically. So lovely summer movie for the kids to go to. And I think I, I was I, 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 I was waiting for uh, Kevin Spacey. I, I <laughs> <laughs> Is that I, what you were waiting for? I, you know, I, I, now I think about. It, I don't know what I was waiting for. I was thinking like, say something funny or just agree with me. <laughs> yeah. uh, you you nailed it on both accounts. I think. Um, <laughs> yeah. So June thirtieth, nineteen ninety five. Um, so we would have been three and four. <laughs> that, mm, mm, that's to be debated. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You would have been three. No, I wouldn't. Yeah, you would. Because you would have turned four in September. Stop rubbing me on the table. Hang on, hang on. No, 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 no. Is he right? Yes, I'm right. Is he actually right? Yeah, he is right. right, yeah. I would have been just free because my birthday is at the beginning of June. Yes, and you would be free. Yeah, yeah. God, we would all be free. He's right. He's Exciting actually fucking times. right. <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah, so uh, have we seen this movie before? Yes. I loved it. I haven't, you know. You hadn't seen it? No, and I did love Power Rangers as a kid, but oh, I, I actually on... never, ever watched How did the movie. we never watch it when we were kids? I had it on VHS. Yeah, that's what... Well, that we, we were too busy watching Hollow Man. Hollow Man. <laughs> 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 Three. No, no, seriously, we used to watch that when we were like we, six we or seven. well too early when we watched yeah, it. Yeah, there's an 18 for fuck's sake. Yeah, man, that scene in the shower. I don't I remember speaking that. about the right hollow man. <laughs> 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 no, you know the one with you the birds in the shower and he's in the <laughs> Brazzers hollow man. <laughs> and then she comes out and he's got the mirror, and he's like angling the mirror at her tits. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the one thing I remember when we used to watch Hollow Man was there was that tramp, do you remember? And he pushes the tramp's trolley and he goes, Oh, Oh no, Pigeonio. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, but Spaghetti. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's like my fondest memory of Hollow Man. <laughs> you were definitely watching it as a three year old. <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah, I watched it last night. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I used to have this on VHS, I used to watch it all the time. Yeah, you've, you've definitely got the, uh, the most knowledge about this film, I'd say. The thing is, I just remember bits. I don't know why I remember the bits, but I just do. There are some bits I remember. I remember like. I, I'm assuming this because uh, we didn't get this far when we were watching it. But then there's mm. Ooze, who's the main bad guy. He has like a like tins of ooze or like things of ooze that he's selling to kids or something. Maybe to distribute in. <laughs> Keep away from the Kevin Spacey <laughs> just An ooze dildo for the parents. <laughs> uh, I don't remember. He might. He, yeah. Is he just like a franchising villain? Yeah. I'm going to rule the world with marketing. No, it's, it's to spread the ooze. It's to get the ooze out there. That's a terrible, terrible spread the ooze. Let's spread the ooze. You know, it's, it's, the, si the, six, the 60s would have been a very different time for spreading ooze. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, yeah, so this film starts off, um, you've got the Power Rangers. Yeah. And they've all, they're all, even when they're not the Power Rangers and they're the humans. The, I, I assume they are the Power Rangers and the humans. So when they're, when they're the humans, they're not mutually exclusive yeah. to one another. <laughs> they still dress in their Power Ranger colours, which is so yeah. fucking annoying. Yes. Yeah, but I mean, why? Think would you... about think about a child watching it. Ah, oh, it's Billy. I can tell because he's wearing blue shorts. Yeah, I you get know? it. But like, imagine having like a group of like kids in your school who are like. One of them's always wearing red, and the other one's always wearing pink, and the other one's always wearing yellow. You'd be like, I g fucking yeah. get some new clothes. Yeah. But once What's again, this would this would be my argument is that then, Steph, you're 25 now. Stop getting held back in year three. Yeah. <laughs> you know, if you're getting Man, pissed I off at seven year olds, hot wear. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps we're uh, not the target audience for this movie anymore. But the thing is, is like, 
and we. Love I, I mean, I'll, I'll I'll get to this point. I have a point about this actually being really wonderful for both adults and kids. What this film or the color? This scheme? film. Oh, okay. This film, not not the color scheme. <laughs> I was wondering I was like, how. <laughs> no coordinated dressing is brilliant for all ages. <laughs> no, I've but, only got blue t-shirts. But, 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 <laughs> but the thing is, is like if you think about it in terms of children, like children are very defined by color. Think about it. Like one of the things you always say in school is like, "What's your favorite color?" You know, and when somebody's yeah. and when there's that guy who's like yellow, you're like, "Fucking, get away from me." Never trust a yellow. Fucking yellow. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, I quite liked yellow when I was like a kid because it was, it was, uh. I remember your favorite color. I can't remember, yeah. Green. Yeah, it was green, but now I think I prefer blue. Yeah. Um, mine, mine was blue, and now I prefer red. I think I liked yellow, and I think you probably bullied oh. me out of liking yellow, so I liked green. Because <laughs> <laughs> in my memory, like me and Steph, like, I, I could still remember, like, we were talking about colors, like, in, like, reception or some shit like ages and ages ago <laughs> year 12 like, earlier today <laughs> but um, and I, I remember like in my memory it was just like my favorite color is blue what's yours and steph's like it's green but steph's memory steph's memory is probably like yellow you fucking <laughs> it's just like, it's like green green it's green, green. I swear it's green, green. <laughs> you were right <laughs> <laughs> what was your favorite color yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say. It was yellow. It was yellow, yeah. Was it it's really? blue now. It was yellow. Was it really? It genuinely was yellow. Is that why you gave me such a <laughs> concern? That's why work. I didn't talk. That's why I was silent. Oh, okay. Fear of the repercussions. Isn't it weird how like, everyone's favourite colour turns to blue? Mine's, yeah. mine's gone away from blue. Mine's red now. Okay. It used to be blue when I was a kid. Blue is like an adult colour, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite a depressing. Na- yeah, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, it's quite like a new. I pay tax now. Blue, yeah. I like blue. I have blue, to do my blue tax movies. returns. Blue movies are... Picasso's blue period. Oh. That sounds yes. painful. <laughs> 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 anyway, so the film. They, uh, so it opens up, and uh, you've got all the Power Rangers <laughs> as humans on the... Um, on a, pl- on a plane. Ah, wait, wait, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm Fuck. stopping. <laughs> I, know, well, I know we're not getting anywhere in this episode. Um, the opening credits. Star Wars, anyone? Mm-hmm. We have to mention that. Oh, yeah, so it starts with just like, but not like the text going away from you, just straight up text going up, and yeah. someone narrating it. Yeah, who was narrating it? someone could just say it. And the font was like, Ariel. Yeah, it, was, <laughs> it, was like, it wasn't very exciting fun, was it? <laughs> It really fucking was. <laughs> it's almost the type of thing you could almost imagine. What if you looked at it really closely, were paying a lot of attention, you would occasionally see just like Mr. Comma, <laughs> no capital. <laughs> you know, it's just like somebody's really typed it out quickly on like Word ninety five or some shit. It was fucking brilliant. The so yeah, so sorry. Word. Yeah, so that's that's what I wanted to go over. That like. When, when uh, we first watched it, and it comes out like the 20th Century Fox, and you said, oh, yeah. it reminds me of two films. It reminds me of this film and Star Wars. And then literally, it was like a, a space background and scrolling text. And I was like, he's a bit like Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> I can it see, I can see why those two stick in your mind. Is, <laughs> They're identical. Mind, that, that never happened. Like, when I, so when you watch the 20th Century Fox film now, and you hear it going, you see it, like, and it goes quiet. You f- you think like Star Wars boom da 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 like kicking in. I always thought of them straight away parachuting. I don't remember mm. the scrolling text and the shitty annoying <laughs> banter in the plane. I don't remember that. I literally just remember like like the uh, was it Tommy the White Ranger yeah. jumping out of the plane with his snowboard thing. Yeah, that's that's what I thought. It went straight to that. I don't remember all this this scrolling text. My brain just white noise. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But yeah, so oh. that, that opens up the film. Yeah. And uh, I already forgot about it. Do you guys remember that? What it said? Uh, uh, what the text was saying. I remember yeah. it was talking about Zordon. Was yeah, Zordon? it was talking about some Zordon. sort of Zordon. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Adam says it best. <laughs> if you're really into Power Rangers, I'm sorry. Yeah, we're, we're gonna fucking we're, not... we're gonna butcher your childhood right so now. So some sort of Zordon and how he he plays with six children. Uh, he, he has done since the beginning of time. Is it, is it Kevin? It Kevin Zordon? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So then, so then it opens up. They're in the plane, and like they've 
They just do annoying. I don't know. They just do annoying. It's, quick it's slack like and it's like it starts off with the tropes of like typical fucking nineties overacting, you know overaction. Action man and pit up action man. It is. It's, it's so like, fucking similar. It's like extreme. Yeah. So like they all jump out of the plane one by one. Like there's two lads that haven't got their parachutes yet, so they all take the piss out of them. Like, yeah. Then they jump out of the plane, but they all like jump out in a funky way. Yeah, they always None do like just jump out. Yeah, they like it's. We were saying it's <clears throat> like their interactions as people. Like they're not Power Rangers right now. They're they're human beings in a fucking plane about to jump out of it. You know, and like most people would just be like. Bit nervous, all right. You know, done this a few times, but uh, you know, and they jump out like you know, no fuss. You just fucking get on with it. And it's like they go up to the door and then they turn around. They go, yeah. and then and then like like backflip out of the fucking thing. It's like what the fuck? They are, are you American. Doing? <laughs> <laughs> that well, I don't. That went well. <laughs> well, I don't know. The Blue Ranger strikes me as Armenian. <laughs> He was there, Aklash. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, they all jump out and you get a very 90s montage of them all falling. But Rip. this is common, like the whole film. One of them, like, so they, they do this and they all kind of go past the camera. Yeah. And then later on they're rollerblading and they all jump over the thing and they all go jump. Like you don't just see like yeah. one little trick, they all jump in front of the camera. Yeah. And then later on they like jump off something, but they all jump off something. It, it was always, It's like you yeah. can't just have one of them do like, something a bit cool and then leave it it's, like it's, they yeah. all have to do it <laughs> yeah. and it's just like right, one two three <laughs> it's, like, it's like it's like <laughs> it's, just... it's like counting sheep yeah, it's... It's... Yeah. Yeah. I think it's because if they made one of them do it they'd have to pay that power ranger more so, so this like, they'd pay it, none no no no, no. We'll, all, we'll pay you all minimum wage and you'll do the same thing <laughs> <laughs> you know what <laughs> fucking unbelievable that's actually really intelligent that's yeah. that's most well, likely so. what it is because they I remember they did that in the TV show as well they'd always like Always be synced up. But the doing TV it. show like made sense that it done stuff like that because it was just wasting time. Mm. To, like, oh yeah, fit very the Twenty true. minutes or whatever. Or well, if this is wasting time to fit the ninety minutes, yeah. <laughs> they're like, we've got to waste a lot of time. <laughs> we have to do a lot of montage, yeah, a lot of fucking backflips. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, they they then falling down and yes. Um, they all meet up and then fuck off again. <laughs> like, I don't know why they meet up because they yeah. don't really do anything. And it's, then yeah. they come in, all of them land perfectly onto the bullseye. Yeah. And yeah. It, it's all to raise money to save, like, a fire department or a it's community it? shelter or it's, something. It's, it's like, one of those things. It's a very like, 90s that, thing. Yeah, there, there was, like, a reason behind all of this. But it does, it's not explained. No, it's it's also, like, I can't even explain it. It's slapdash. Yeah. Would that yeah, be a way to yeah. describe it? It's literally just, like, you know, it's got... It's like somebody, it's like fucking Jackson Pollock. You know, he's throwing paint on a canvas and the plot is in one of those little dots of paint. But good luck if you fucking find it <laughs> because there's 7,000 of them. Do you know what I mean? It's like, it's a bit like that. Yeah, so it's just like, they, so they waste time by showing multiple backflips. <laughs> but they can't waste time by explaining why they're jumping out of the plane. Yeah, it's true. It's because <laughs> no one thought that through. No one cares. No one has sat down and, it's like I was saying about this is a time where the good people are just good and the bad people are just bad and yeah. there's no reason for anything. There's no plot. Yeah. It's true. And again, I think we're looking at this through through adult eyes. eyes of yeah, twenty five year olds. Yeah. Because because three year old clearly made this film. <laughs> 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 well, this is the thing. I was thinking about that and I was thinking like I was thinking about how childish the film is. And I know it's for children, like I know this is aimed at children, but it must be at the back of your mind. When you watch things like this, and you think adults directed, starred, wrote, and you know created this movie, I think it'll be great fun to star in this film. Well, because none of them are great actors, <laughs> so like they <laughs> just—it's just, it's just like another day in the office. They're just saying stuff, and then they're going on a rope system and being pulled up in the air. <laughs> and, like, yeah. And then, <laughs> so they're doing, like, there's not loads to I, it. I think. I think like we'll get to the. Yeah. Later, but, I think um, worst acting of the Power Rangers probably has to go to Kimberly, the Pink Ranger. Yeah, she was pretty, she was pretty fucking dire. Yeah, and it, I think it, it had a screening process for the role of Kimberly quite similar to uh, that of Hollyoaks, where they basically have a checklist with two items on it. And they go, oh, okay, Left like... Breast. <laughs> <laughs> Left breast. Right breast. <laughs> Close enough, <laughs> 
But basically, it's like an actress would come in. They go, okay, sit down. You're going for the role of uh, Cynthia, for example. Um, can you act? No, I can't. Okay, tick. Uh, <laughs> are you are you insanely attractive? Yes, I am. You're hired. That is literally the process. And yeah. unfortunately, that's Kimberly's process in this film. It's like she was clearly hired on her looks and acrobatic capability. <laughs> Yes, that was in the item list. It was a, an optional check free. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, not necessary, but helpful if you can. Yeah, but useful. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but she yeah. was pretty shit sure at walking like a ninja, though. Yeah, she was. Because everyone crap. else is like doing like arms, like they're gonna like expecting an attack. And, and she was there. walking like she had just had her nails done. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. It's yeah. I mean, like she's just. And the thing is. Considering she has like the least emphasis of them in terms of her acting, like her just kind of like her front, um, they seem to have given her the kind of lion's share of the lines. Yeah, because she's yeah, the best she had looking. Yeah, a lot, didn't she? Yeah, I mean, like <laughs> uh, we're jumping ahead a little bit, but and we'll get to this properly. But just as an example, when they first meet the bad guy of the film for the first time, Ivan, ooh. she's like, yeah, he kind of comes out of nowhere, and she just goes, ooh, gross. Do you, know what I'm, do you know what I mean? It's like, where the fuck did that come from? What the fuck was that shit? You know, it's like, and uh, like, I'll get to my favourite line of hers later when uh, we revisit Zordon after an unfortunate incident. Cool. Because the way she delivers her lines there, I picked up on something. And we'll, we'll get to it. I've, but I've let's, think of it, but no. I can't wait. Let's carry so on. We'll just quickly breeze through this bit, right? So they've, they've done that parachuting. They then have an epic... Um, inline skate scene where they all jump and do tricks and but like the tricks are pretty shit. Yeah. It's like... um, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, uh, <laughs> and then they get they go through a construction yard. Yes. But yeah. they go through they just go past it. Yeah. Um, but then this is when the construction workers find the two that are in the plane who didn't want to jump out jump out and land in the construction zone and I'm assuming that has something to do with it later on in the film. Yeah, because otherwise it's it, it paid random. it quite a bit of attention for yeah. it not to be a point. Yeah, you know what I mean? yeah. And then they find this manhole cover which has like a scary face on it. But they were digging a hole, guessing to put foundations for the building in. Yeah. Right. And where they were standing talking to the guy who was like, "Why are you here? Why have you parachuted into my building site?" Yeah. He was like two meters lower than this manhole cover thing. Yeah, he was, wasn't he? So how the fuck didn't they find it earlier? <laughs> <laughs> they, why would you leave just like a little, a mini mountain in the middle of the construction site thinking, I had up, do. That's so true. I hadn't picked why? up on that at all. That's so fucking true. Yeah, it was a bit dumb. They, they, obviously, they obviously just like, when they were digging out the foundations, they obviously did it in a checkerboard system and they just gave like, you dig in this checkerboard and they obviously were just like, and you've got top right. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it like, make me proud. <laughs> I think they just done it from the outside going in. So it's just a circle, like a spiraling circle all the way through. And then bang in the middle was where the grate was. Yeah. They hadn't actually dug that bit. They were just going all the way around it first. <laughs> what what yeah, are you looking at? A uh, spider just walked up behind you. Oh, it's all right. He's, He's, right. Jealous. He's, He's fine. Gives yeah. the flies away. Yeah. Yeah. Not the fucking woodlouse, though. <laughs> <laughs> that one. <laughs> Bastard. But, um, yeah, so they uncover this... It is like a big manhole cover, like yeah. you say. And they they pull it open. Typically, like, special effects, like, gas comes out. Yeah, yeah. You know, just, just like smoke machine, smoke machine on, yeah. just, like, stuck under the ground. And it's just like, turn it on now. Bit late, but fuck it. We can't, <laughs> can't afford to refilm that. <laughs> you know? And then, like... A fucking, like, reptile hand comes out. Not a real one, like a, a stone one, clutching yeah. an egg. Um, a purple egg. So this is surrounded by, I don't know, 30... Uh, construction workers. Construction workers. And, and, like, I love one of them because he goes, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like one of them's gonna go. Oh yeah, that's that's, <laughs> that's Ivan Oof's egg, isn't it? That's an SDS, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a resip, mate. <laughs> I lost my drill earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Been waiting for our new cement mixer. <laughs> Just like sitting around. 
Spanner. <laughs> 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 you know, it's like, I love that guy. What is it? Fucking brilliant. Great line. My favourite line of the film, personally. Yeah. But so, In fairness, it's the logical question to ask. Well, but then the one guy yeah, goes. Yeah, I, I guess so. I the guess one guy so. goes, I don't know, and then goes to touch it and gets electrocuted, <laughs> electrocuted. and <laughs> flown back. <laughs> like, he just he gets and, battered and straight purple away. Purple electricity, yeah. which I hear is the worst, the worst of type the of the electricity. Mm. Yeah. The thing is, he started acting electrocuted before the special effects kicked in. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like acting electrocuted. <laughs> then these special effects, like purple lightning, starts to engulf him, and then he gets thrown. And then, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Uh, oh shit, I was not supposed to go. <laughs> uh, 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 you think they fix that in post, but you, yeah. <laughs> you can almost see the look of panic on his face as he spots the director over the corner of his eye going. And he's just like, uh, 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 he just has this little moment. Started, man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so um, quite dramatic. Things start fucking kicking yeah, off so quite then, soon. So then they all, they all go home. Mm. Uh, the Power Rangers are called back to... Alpha, Alpha calls the Power Rangers back yeah. to talk to Zordon. Yeah, the, and they have their own like separate base, which looks, uh, like you said, like a bit like Jabba Jabba's Hutt. palace. Yeah, Jabba the Hutt's palace, yeah. Uh, but where is this? Because last, <laughs> last, no last we saw, they were in what c I can assume is like Manhattan or something. Yeah, yeah some, some, some city. generic American city. Yeah, there. and this like <clears throat> Jabba's palace is in the middle of like, Desert. It's basically. exactly like Jabba's yeah, palace. but to get there, they have to disintegrate. So, yeah, they turn into uh, a rainbow. yeah, good point. So, so I guess they can a <laughs> rainbow. Well, it's just like a load of colours just flying up into the sky. I was sky. gonna say it's like one of the weirdest. That's a strange rainbow. Pink and black <laughs> 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 and white <laughs> and red. Yeah. I can see a rainbow. Power Rainbow. <laughs> and then the oh, Power there Rainbow. Oh, there it's that like construction worker there. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a rainbow. I think it's a spanner. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so I guess, yeah, they disintegrate. They travel to. They can travel anywhere. Yeah. So, yeah, they travel to. Uh, it could be another planet for all Well, this is it. They I, travel guess, I guess if you watch the TV show, you know where it is. They travelled to a long time ago no, the in a galaxy that they develop far, far, far away. I doubt you find <laughs> out in the TV show either. They don't develop anything in this show. No, they just kick things. No, they just <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's much like... Um, Someone's asking a question. Quick, It's kick much him. like if... Uh, <laughs> 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 you punch me really lightly and then rub me to make sure I'm okay. <laughs> the rub was probably harder than the punch. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's very much kind of like the Donald Trump approach to making a child's film, isn't it? Kick them in the face, ask questions later. It's that sort of like... Sounds like a great film. I mean... Some man kicking people <laughs> in the face. Like, Where's the local calf? <laughs> it's like, you know, in a way, like calling it Power Rangers the movie, I think, is a bit... It's too... It's not... It, what am I trying to say? <laughs> it's, it's too... It's not... It is... It's like... It's not what I would call it. Like, I would literally call it the flippy punch movie because they flip and they punch. Well, it's like that movie Hobo with a Shotgun. What's it about? A hobo with a shotgun. <laughs> it's literally about a hobo with a shotgun. I think it should, should have been called Power Rangers The Long Episode. You know what? That's, that's, that's very is. apt. <laughs> that's very apt. But yeah, so they're talking to Zordon, who's like, Ivan Ooze has come back and he is the evilest man in the world. Yeah. And then we transitioned <laughs> back to the egg. Zordon is the floating head, Zordon but if you remember it, yeah. and if you don't know him, he looks, basically, just imagine the face of a man you'd meet in a Yorkshire chip shop at one in the morning. <laughs> that, oh, a, a better yeah, one. Yeah. He looks exactly like Darth Vader when he removes his mask. Uh, in yes, true. Months. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Uh, right, so he's telling about this magic, like, masterful, evil person, Ivan, who's blah, mm. blah, blah. Uh, then you go back to the egg. And four, I think, people turn up. Like, they, like, just yeah. appear. Yeah. And I'm guessing they're, like, they're, they're Power they were, they were yeah. villains. I think, they're, I think yeah. they're the standard villains yeah, from, like, like, the we Power remember, Rangers. We remember, yeah. like, Zed. Episode. Yeah. His, his name is... He's, he's the one who's got all his muscles exposed and his brain. Yeah. yeah. I kind of remember... I remember the woman, the one with the really annoying voice. Yeah. And I also remember the pig... With the fucking monocle. Because <laughs> <laughs> why not? 
the thing is, it's like I I remember the uh, lion, like the blue lion in gold armor. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And and Zed, those are the only two I remember. I had a Zed like toy when I was a kid. Most I'm people opt sure. for Power Rangers. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> yeah. Your mum's gone. Nah, fuck that. No, you can have a Zed toy. You know what? Actually, I don't think I had a Power Rangers toy, but I definitely had a Zed toy. And I remember Surprise. being really fine with it's that as a you're kid. Evil. Yeah. So yeah, they so they <laughs> appear, and their plan is to resurrect Ivan Ooze. Um, Didn't take much effort. No, they literally yeah. just they just tapped an egg. Tapped it. Just just tapped to it. What was his name? Zed. Zed. Yeah. Zed yeah. just tapped to it with his big and Zed. And he he zapped, <laughs> and he zapped a security a couple of security guards. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And and that was it. That Killed. was their plan. Bad security for what is effectively uh, an artifact of alien origin. Yeah, yeah, this thing comes you'd out expect of the this to be you'd, yeah. You'd, you'd, you'd think in Area Fifty One sort of shit. Yeah, yeah. You think it would be gone already? You'd yeah, you think it would still be there in the middle of the city in a building site. Just with two these men, two fat two guys men with like sat on a beach coffee, chair, yeah. <laughs> cup of coffee, and a fucking newspaper. Yeah, the spider's coming back behind you. Where is he? Oh, hello. <laughs> I don't think he wants to play. No, he's gone. Sorry, I, I threw him off. He definitely didn't want to play. Was, Sorry, mate. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, so then they turn up, kill the security guards, and then tap the thing. And then Ivan News appears in terrible CGI, but it's nice, nice <laughs> so you can't complain I, too I would say much. not too bad for the time, to be honest. Yeah, you, you can't. You can't yeah. I've seen worse in later films. Definitely. I've seen worse. Uh, Phantom Menace had worse. Yeah, mm. but Phantom Menace's budget for CGI must have been ridiculous. You know, the whole film was like CGI, wasn't it? Yeah. So, like, after a while, they must have been like, <laughs> fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. I'm bored. <laughs> um, yeah, so he then comes out. And this is when we realise there is no, like, Ivan Ooze doesn't want to take over the world to do anything. He no. just wants to take over the world because he's evil. And his little followers like him because they're evil too. Yes. Yeah. There's no it's, like it's it's that simple. There's no like um I don't know, finesse to the characters. There's no, no, there's no, no not excuse at all. for them why they're doing what they're doing. They're literally just like, I'm evil. It reminds me of Fuck the, the good people the Joker from uh Well no, because he has he no. he's just he, he wants to just yeah, yeah. fucked yeah. up in the like But in he's the, he's he's yeah. much more of a like developed character. Developed character. Yeah. And these are literally yeah. like we like bad things, and anyone that's good, we're going to kill. Actually, that's yeah. That's literally all yeah. they do. That is, that is true. That's that the only reason they like his, him. His dialogue is something to that effect. Yeah, it, it is, like, yeah. I'm, I'm bad because I want to see everything that's good burn, or something like that. Yeah, it Much will, it like the Joker. <laughs> Some people just want to watch the world burn. Very good, Tom. See? Gold um, star. I was hoping for one of the red glitter. You can't ones. have one. You We've got some Halloween you candy have a left drum, over a for drumstick. I don't like them very much. They have that bit of paper on the bottom and it gets <laughs> oh, to yeah. me. You can have a refreshers. I'm saving that. Good luck eating right. that. Why? They're lovely. Oh, rip proper. your teeth out. <laughs> Are they? Are they really... Yeah. <laughs> probably not somebody you want to eat whilst doing a podcast. Or you're talking oh, <laughs> listen to that. I probably didn't need to put the microphone right near it. But basically... <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, so then they resurrect Ivan Ooze. Yeah. And then the four of them are like, right, sweet, you crack on, mate. We're off. <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> gone. <laughs> Stay resurrected. And they're like, you're the almighty one. We'll, we'll follow you to the ends of the earth. Bye. But Adam Adam found out some interesting lore about the origins of Eisen, uh, Ivan Ooze. Yes. What's well, the person who played it? Not, not Ivan Ooze no, himself. No, no, no. It was Ivan Ooze. Where does Ivan Ooze come from? Uh, Adam? Ivan Ooze was created <laughs> in the 70s. No, earlier than that. When was he created? Sometime early in the century of the 20th. <laughs> this really wasn't what I was <laughs> going for. trying to call for. it law. I was trying to make it mysterious. Oh, okay. He was born in Chipping Barnet. <laughs> <laughs> so, for you viewers, uh, we're based in North London, uh, right on the edge of North London in a place called Barnet. And it turns out the fella called Paul Freeman, who played Ivan Ooze in this film, is from Chipping Barnet, which is about five minutes that way. For audio listeners, it doesn't matter where you pointed that. And that that's an emecca. Uh, yeah, they have listeners, no idea where they can see the inside of a shed. <laughs> yeah, like, no, this isn't the shed. That it's way. a studio. <laughs> yeah, <sorry. laughs> it's a fucking it's d- massive, it's expensive studio. studio that we that we. Handcrafted, handcrafted yeah. ourselves. Um, 
The ceiling's not falling down at all. <laughs> no, no, we're professional here. And we put the spiders and wood like that. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Brilliant. I, yeah, I didn't, <laughs> didn't consider that. It's, yeah. Oh, great. So... Yeah, so he's, <laughs> he's five You've minutes. The magic. He's five Derailed. minutes that way from the shed. <laughs> um, oh, Ivan. Yeah, so <laughs> he comes up and then he's he's evil, and we get the first fight scene. Yeah. Yes. So yes, we do. Power Rangers come along in the multicolored rainbow uh, disintegration. This is where uh, Kimberly form. has her line with Ivan, who's like, "Ooh, gross." Oh yeah, she sees Ivan, so "Ooh, gross," and then he's like, "Oh, look, some children." come to beat me will look at my children fuck we forgot about his really weird oh, line beforehand. Yeah, 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 really weird after line. the four bad guys like zed the lady lion boy and pig monocle fuck off he <laughs> he, <laughs> that he, he they probably are <laughs> not particularly inventive pig the guy with big zed on his head is called zed <laughs> yeah. Yeah. but um yeah so like they fuck off and he's there by himself for just a split second before the power rangers turn up and he goes <laughs> that smell it smells like teenagers and i was like yeah oh, you took way too much delight yeah. in that last word not not good not good, not good. Not and especially good. when your name is ivan ooze <laughs> you know to <laughs> and, a name a persona and a line which should not go together is a man called ivan ooze in a fucking dilapidated area Hanging saying around. yeah chipping barnet. smelling smelling <laughs> ch chipping barnet smelling teenagers you know what i mean not a good mix not good but no. yeah so anyway like you say the power rangers, power rangers show up turn up with their evaporation machines or yeah. whatever they are and they have a little quibble with ivan ooze for a little bit and then he oozes up some enemies for them yeah and then he yeah. fucks off yeah yeah uh, and they are not power rangers at the moment they are the humans yes so they're not in their battle gear <clears throat> battle armor power ranger so armor they take on these ooze guys mm. and at first they kind of do okay but then they get the shit kicked out of them because they, they? they decide yes. to transform into power rangers but they were doing okay. I yeah, thought they were doing just yeah. fine. They were doing all right, but they weren't thought... doing quite as well as they should. Yeah, we. Can yeah. Do so they all. Do so they're all split up, and then one of them backflips away. <laughs> so one of them, like, to get <laughs> away. Th this will happen like, often. <laughs> yeah. So one of them to get away. He like he was surrounded by three of them. He'd done like backflip, some whatever, like, and he just kept going back, and then someone else was like, right behind you, and then backflip past the screen. <laughs> like, why? Why? And you then need... later on, like one of them's, one of them's fucking g gets kicked and hits a wall, right? And his mate backflips <laughs> over towards him, and then like helps him out. Uh, yeah, but surely you could have just turned around and ran. And you <laughs> that one, right. that one wasn't even a backflip that got me. So he backflips over to his mate. <laughs> then before even helping his mate up, does like a little spin. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 he He's just like, oh, oh, I've not done enough backflips. I can compensate. For this. <laughs> I'll do a but, pirouette. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's but this is when. The real, the real good stuff starts coming out with the script writing, I think, of this film. Oh, and it's man. like, you know, they have their like, whoo, whoo, ha, too slow, ha, you snooze, you ooze. Yeah. Sit on it. <laughs> yeah. Hand on their ass. Yeah. It's just like, everyone has to have a quip. Yes. Every time. Yes. And, and there's one it's, scene, it's, I think it's, it's, it's wonderful. Is it Ashley? Or is it? Which one? Uh, the yellow Asia. Aisha. 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 Yeah, she has a bit, I think it's her, and she does about six quips in a row. Yeah, she was quip happy. And it is horrible. And at the end of it, she's like, just another day. Or like, what a day. Or great day. Or some shit. <laughs> it's just like... Yeah. <laughs> or if it's Kevin Spacey, <laughs> I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was just fucking terrible. You're just like, you don't need this. Yeah. Mm. But maybe it was back in. But back, this yeah, is that's time. that. Yeah, Arnold this Schwarzenegger that area. Area. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we don't want to talk about Arnold Schwarzenegger's area. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, his his era. Yeah. But yeah, they all flip back, flip back into a place, and then they do this terrible transform sequence where they turn into the Power Rangers. Yeah, uh, I love the fact that they still have their like they each have an animal, like they each have like a prehistoric oh, animal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I, I hate... Oh, I feel so sorry for the actors. I feel so sorry, because take away all the special effects and everything, it's 
adult, an adult with like a plastic toy, and they have to sound like interested and engaged. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's so sad. But they all say it. It's literally like. Like it almost brings a tear to my eye. Yeah, but you can like, this see is, it in their is, eyes that yeah. they're not happy. It, yeah, it, but they it, say it, takes... it so quickly as well that, they, that like one of them has a saber tooth tiger, and she just goes, saber tooth tiger. She doesn't want to okay. do this. So she's like, saber tooth tiger, and it's like. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, they, you know, they could have like really just like, they could have had a choice of animal. You know, they should have had a choice of animal, and they all would have gone for like hen, <laughs> <laughs> cat. <laughs> Turtle. Dog. dog. <laughs> they just need like one syllable animals, you know? Yeah. That's yeah. Snail. <laughs> Trinosaurus Rex was a bit too much when it goes. Like, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> 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 yeah, but I just like, I felt so sorry for the actors, especially like Kimberly goes first, and because she's the first one, it's the most kind of cringy, you know? And what did she have? A pterodactyl, oh, I think. No, so, uh, no yeah, idea. so like you take away all the special effects because they have this kind of big budget, like like lightning in their color going all over the place and this stuff zooming all over On the fucking screen. On a terrible green screen. Yeah, uh, but really it's just an adult there with a plastic toy going, pterodactyl! <laughs> and you think like, oh God, no amount of money <laughs> could make me do that in front of millions of people. <laughs> like that's <laughs> that's too embarrassing. I would I would rather like, poo finger myself in front of 500 people than say pterodactyl like that in front of a million like i would never do that in my life oh my god you know what i think i might edit it i might just like zoom in on you when you've done that to the camera and then release it to the world no just and just then you've done just, it just, just, just over cut that clip and just put it on social media i would rather poo finger myself <laughs> <laughs> no just overdub it like with your own voice i would rather Plant flowers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, do do what you want. You know? Yeah, I do feel for the actors. They are, but the thing is, looking through their IMDb profiles, <laughs> none of them got any more it's work. So sad. It's just like I'm sorry, it's PTSD. <laughs> yeah. It's got to they be post traumatic. But they're like Absolutely. even now, they're at conventions, like holding like a. A Power Rangers helmet, kind of like you can see the shake in the hand. The hand is blurry. <laughs> again, I'm like, gonna live it again. <laughs> and they've got to like shake these like <laughs> these middle old middle aged men's hands who've never grown up and who are still like obsessed with fucking Tommy. <laughs> like it's just like you can see the fear in his face, but he's got no other prospects because he's such a shit actor. <laughs> 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 and he didn't finish school. So. <laughs> Uh, so this is where we see the Power Rangers come to light and they just uh, kick ass. So they basically, like, they, they kick one of the ooze monsters and he, they just fucking fly. Yeah, what the fuck? And then they fuck? hit something and explode. Explode in, it's great. into ooze. It's fucking brilliant. It is good, isn't it? And you can see, like, as the actor is clearly on, like, on a pulley system, <laughs> like, you can see them kind of, like, there's a split second where they like leave the, the the ground and you can see they're panicked and then before they've then panicked again because they realize they're going to hit a wall and explode <laughs> there's like a moment in the middle when they don't know what to do and they kind of just stay still like that like they're just kind of like, <laughs> yeah. just in just leave. And they're, yeah. like, they're like ah! <laughs> oh, it's, it is brilliant, and then even the Power Rangers do it as well. Like, yeah. They jump like there's one that has like this weird fucking. I don't even know. It was the Blue it Ranger, the the like yeah, he has like grapple this, hook thing, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah. Like, yeah, it looks like a taser grapple hook. Yeah, and like he like goes like huh, and he just goes woo in the same yeah, position. Yeah, whoa, oh. whoa. <laughs> <laughs> bit of a wobble there. <laughs> yeah, like I mean. Like, the point I was getting at earlier, like, way earlier, like, when I said about the kind of whole, like, cheesiness of it, I think that the whole cheesiness of it, like, it appeals to kids because kids get drawn into the whole kind of, like, slogans and catchphrases with, like, heroes and stuff, you know. Kids will be into it on, like, they kick our sort of sense. I'm sorry, but it does appeal to adults as, like, this is so outrageous, it's funny. Oh, like it's hilarious. Yeah, yeah. So I do think, like, these ridiculous scenes, these over-the-top pieces, I think they're good for both adults and kids. Oh, it's, oh, it's, we were having I, a cracking and, time. Yeah, right? we, I, I so don't know fun. if it's intentional or unintentional by the, the creators. Like, I mean... If it was intentional, it's genius. Exactly. Yeah, but something tells me it's not. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but I, I mean, I, I do think there's aspects of it which just, just appeal on a comic level. Yeah. You know? 
Mm. You snooze, you ooze. Fuck me. Like, I wish I thought of that. You, you know? would have. I would have thought of you that. You would have thought of that. <laughs> <laughs> it would be like your third one if I told you to make some ooze puns. <laughs> Probably would, yeah. So then, so I, while this is all happening, yeah. they've all forgotten about their, their main man. Ivan Ooze. Said, 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 um, uh, Zordon. 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 Right, Zordon, and the, the floating Alpha. head who's Alpha. effectively helpless. He's like. Can we talk about Alpha for a second? Go of course you can. What do you want to talk about? So, Alpha? Alpha's the robot. Well, well, oh, so, I said this whilst we were watching it, right? Yeah. It goes back to. Was it Ghostbusters, me and you watched with the computer noises? The Goosebumps. That oh, was it. Goosebumps. Goosebumps. So, this has got the computers that. And it's got. Computers that have no screen, just a shitload of <laughs> flashing square lights. flashing buttons. <laughs> so I was just like, thank fuck that future never came true. Of like, it's this true. Yeah. Things where they've got massive computers still that just have loads of big, colourful buttons that flash and make noise. And they all, se- they like all seem to do crazy. the same thing as well. Yeah. Turn it off. Yeah. <laughs> well, then like, they tap away at it and they're like, I'm just downloading the mainframe. You're like, how the fuck do you know what you're doing? It's just loads of flashing buttons. That was a really good alpha, actually. Was, yeah. All you need to do is an, oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, so an alpha's, oh my, oh my. Yeah. So an alpha's this fucking robot that they put together with about 30 pound that they found under the fucking <laughs> he's a he's like a henry hoover that yeah. they just did did a bit of work to and they gave him the night rider fucking light across his head and like, because he's a robot he's got to do the robot hands all the time like, he can't talk about doing the robot hands it's, it's so, fucking it's so, it's so irritating <laughs> Oh, um, you know. Anyway, um, enough about Alpha. Oh fuck. <laughs> so where who are we talk? Who are we talking? Who's has gone to see Zordon? Oh yeah, yeah, that's it. And uh, basically, he goes to Kitso oh. and destroys the whole thing. Yes. I don't. I don't even know what his reasoning. What I probably just because I think Zordon, like Zordon was the one who captured Ivan Ooze in the yes. first place. Yes. Yeah, yes. So he goes back to get revenge. Yeah. Yes. Which he does Great pretty well because he completely fucking, well. fucking destroys the whole uh, Power Ranger hideout. Yes. And uh, kills well. Almost kills Zordon. I don't know what he yeah. does. Like, kind of pops his air bubble or something. <laughs> this... Yeah, he like breaks his <laughs> test no, tube. No, I mean, no. Like, this is what re- like I'm baffled with this whole this whole incident baffles me. So the Power Rangers come back after finishing their fight. We have we will get back to the Power Rangers because there's some bits I want to talk about. But yeah, I, I know yeah, exactly we'll, we'll what you're referring to. But yeah, so so they they get back to like Mother Base, whatever it is. Um, and they go in, they see devastation everywhere, this incident's happened. Right, so Zordon is like a 14-foot head in a fucking jar. Next thing, we see a 5-foot-6 man in a space blanket <laughs> sitting amidst <laughs> crystals. Like, where the fuck do you... <laughs> Please does explain he, to me how that happened. Does he have a body? Like, yeah. yeah he had like a, no, no, no. I know he had a body when he was when he was yeah. wrapped up because Ivan Ooze, like wrapped him up nicely to keep him warm. Yeah. yeah. But when he's the floating head... No, exactly. there's no body. He's Is just his body, head. like, just not part of Does it detach? Is he... What? I mean, what the fuck? Maybe the head's like a hologram. Yeah, it's possible. That does explain why. There's a bit when uh, Zordon's talking to them. But the guy's mouth isn't moving. <laughs> oh so god, like, yeah. So he's talking, <laughs> and then the the like the hologram face is just blank. It's not yeah. doing it's anything. Just, and then, <laughs> then it starts moving his mouth. It's like <laughs> looking down his lines. <laughs> 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 oh, it was brilliant. But uh, I mean, yeah, I don't know. He, it, so, it it doesn't explain it because then if it was a hologram, he would just like ooze. Ivan ooze would have to destroy the the glass or the hologram or whatever that projector is. Yeah. So what, did he find him in like the room upstairs and then think, I'll put him where his hologram used to be. It's only fair, isn't it? Do you think it's like the Wizard of Oz? Well, I was thinking that. I was thinking that, but then I thought, like, I can't explain it. Yeah, I have no yeah. idea. So like I say, they don't really think these things through. No. <laughs> so what was your line with Kimberly and uh, the, oh. the, the dying Zorro? <laughs> okay, so they all come in and they all, like, I think they see Alpha first, don't they? Oh no, they see Alpha afterwards. Yeah, they see Zordon first. Yeah, so they rush up to Zordon, they realise his hologram's not there, it's all gone, and they see this little man lying there in his space blanket. And, like, you know, I think Tommy's the first talking, goes, Zordon, what happened? It's like, hey, you know, <laughs> have a heart. Have some words, <laughs> yeah. yeah, and then, I don't know, like, one of the other ones is like, this is bad. And then he's like, Kimberly, you're lying. She's like, oh shit. Um, you can't die, Zordon. 
you're like a dad to me. And I was like, that sounded like a question. <laughs> <laughs> that definitely sounded like a question. And I was like, are you expecting an answer? This guy's dying. <laughs> He's, He's like, like, yes. He's just like, I've got time for that, Kimberly. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> all the pain. <laughs> but yeah, it was like, for all of the half-assed lines, it was one which was beyond half-assed. And also at and the same time confused the fuck out of me. But the thing was, it was meant to bring like emotion to you. So you're both yeah. like, oh fuck, he's like a father figure to them. Yeah. And he's dying. This is terrible. But yes. really you're like, what the fuck is going on? It was on? meant to be one of those scenes like, you've been like a father to me. You can't go. And it was just like, you've been like a father to me. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> do you see what I mean? Do you see why I was so like, <laughs> just... what happened? <laughs> I, was, I, was like, I was just like, so who's going to answer? <laughs> I was like, I'm looking at you, Tommy. You're the man with all the lines. <laughs> so, yeah, so then Alpha... Luck then... Luckily, Alpha breaks the uh, bad acting yeah, with some, some bad acting. <laughs> acting. So Alpha tells him there's a way to get a power source to get Zordon back. Yeah. And that's where we got to. Yeah. yeah. So they rainbow off and then that's it. Yeah. So the Power Rangers, right? So when they when they first turn into the Power Rangers, they spend so fucking long <laughs> doing that... <laughs> And then transforming <laughs> into the Power Ranger, <laughs> the, that the, 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 the enemies fuck off. The fellas off. fuck <laughs> off. They do. <laughs> the enemies have done which, by the way, are very similar to the game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they just fuck off. They, they lose yes. interest real quick. <laughs> really fucking good. Really so, fucking good. So the enemies fuck off, and they ADHD. just they just catch one. They're like, get him. So they go after him, <laughs> and um, they go to this like underground car park like kind of thing. Yes. And um This is such a classic and all, scene. So they're walking along, all of them. So how many Power Rangers are there? Five? Six? Six. Five. White, six. pink, yellow, red, blue, black. Six. So they're so they're walking along, but all of them are doing like they they're getting their karate chops and that ready. They're like, and you're like hearing the lots sound of effect. <laughs> Why is there suddenly a <laughs> It's only when they're in suits, isn't like, it? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, when they're in the Power Ranger suit, yeah, it's like constant. And even when they're walking, it's one just bit like, where Whoa. Tommy walks, and he goes. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like it's like when they point at something as well. It's like they hear a noise. Wait, I heard it over there. Yeah. It's like why? No, it's un un unnecessary. Thing. Basically, what's happened is the sound engineer has just discovered this sound effect. Yeah, and it's just like guys, look what I can do. And they say, just puts on everything. <laughs> Watch this video of me and my wife. <laughs> 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 uh, oh. yeah, and so then that, the bloody yellow oh. Power Ranger with her, her special power. Oh, fuck it. Yeah. So they're in this car <laughs> this, park. This, is the best. <laughs> this, a, this was amazing. Favourite scene ever. So they're in this car park walking fine. There's plenty of light. But someone's going, God, it's so dark in here. Like, can't, <laughs> can't see a thing. It was Tommy because he's such a villain. <laughs> yeah. And so the yellow Power Ranger, uh, Aisha. Yeah. She goes, don't worry, guys. I got this. <laughs> <laughs> and she's some kind of like... Uh, I think she's the saber, saber tooth. Yes, she is. Like, her her helmet looks like it's got the eyes and it's got the teeth as her where she sees yeah. out. Yeah. And so she's like, oh, I've got this. And she's like, like power up or something like that. Yeah. Something stupid. <laughs> and the ears on her helmet light up, but with the like shittest fucking like five watt light bulb. <laughs> and they like really, really are. Yellow yeah. light. You know, like at Halloween, you get those like devil horns, which have the little light on them. You like flick a switch at the side, yeah. and they kind of like <laughs> maybe glow, but it might just be light coming from the other side. Yeah. You're, never, you're never actually sure. Yeah. It's like that. It and is. they're like, oh fuck. Thank fuck for that. I can see. <laughs> and, and like, you, there's a scene like they're all walking, and she's just it's fucking so looking somewhere else, and they're still walking. <laughs> so they're all walking forwards, and she just looks to the left, and they all carry on. So they all can fucking see. Like, oh, <laughs> thank God you're here, Aisha. <laughs> <laughs> We'd be uh, lost without you. <laughs> God, it, was, it was a fucking. Oh. It was a fucking class. Scene, that <laughs> like, one. To be fair, it was absolute the film class. Was fucking hilarious. Yeah. It's, it was. It was brilliant from start lot, to finish. It was so funny. It was brilliant from start to finish. So, are there any more notes, or are we, are we done with the film? Um, um, that was the last one we got to, wasn't it? Little, little tiger. Lights. The uh, the only one is a little bit of additional information, really, about it, which is that it was quite universally panned by critics. To be honest, wasn't it just like a middle of the road fifty? It, yeah, it, 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 it 50, was. 100. It was really for the most part, but at the same time, they were quite they were quite damning with it. It's still fireworks going off. Mm. Was it? Is that a firework? I hear the firework. I was. I, I, 
was in the middle. I was in the middle of listening to myself <laughs> talk, <laughs> <laughs> as I often do. <laughs> but um, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. So like, even though it's like very middle of the road reviews, they were all quite damning about it at the same yeah. time. Right. Yeah. So yeah. even though they're giving it like a fair five. I think they're giving it a fair five because they know it's marketed at children. Yeah. yeah but they really, they're just saying it's terrible. So and I think they're missing the point, you know. It's so funny. It's Someone brilliant. called it the closest thing to nothing you can have on a screen <laughs> and still call it like a, a movie. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. Yeah. Like, I, I no, think not at all. Was worse. Oh, oh fuck definitely. yeah. Hell yeah. Fuck this, yeah. This had me a lot more entertained than Birdman. Yes. I've only watched ten minutes of Birdman. I've not even That's all seen I can it. fucking. Watch. I, I just, I just thought so much bad shit. I just thought that. Yeah, it. yeah, like I, the only, yeah. I mean, Birdman's a different story, but like this w- made me laugh. Multiple well, it's, times. it's got it's got and at one point like, to engage you. I had to pause Ridiculous. it. Ridiculous. Uh, laugh so much. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't want to miss anything <laughs> yeah. else. It was, yeah. it it's fucking good. brilliant. It's fucking brilliant. But like that is that really that's like last bit. Yeah, of additional information. To be fair, we've been speaking about the movie alone for over an hour. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I mean, and the fact that we can talk about it for that long must have mean we it, enjoyed it. It, it speaks volumes, yeah. you know. So, would you volumes. carry on watching them? Yes. Yes. Fuck yeah. 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 You've got Hell to see yeah. what happens to Ivan Ooze and Zordon. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> right. Um, so, the game. The game. Yes. Now, the game, even though it is, like, it, this is the official game of the movie. It's uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie. The okay. game. game for SNES featuring Ivan Ooze <laughs> that is actually Ivan in Ooze, the yeah. title and for some reason <laughs> Ivan Ooze is trademarked <laughs> yeah. but Power Rangers wasn't <laughs> that I found quite yeah, you'd, quite you'd, baffling you'd the other way around, <laughs> yeah I really found that quite baffling I was, I was thinking is that how like he signs his checks <laughs> like, Ivan Ooze TM <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah so who, who made this uh, well, the game was developed by Natsume, who we've covered before, but I don't. I think we've covered Natsume with a couple games. Let's have a little look. But I don't remember what games. So, yeah, it was developed by Natsume, but it was published by Bandai. They done Action Man. How uh... funny! Because we compared the beginning of the film to Action Man, the series. Mm. Mm, we did. So Good memory as well. Well, that we done Natsume. Yeah. I, I, I knew I'd heard it before. That's as much as I've got to say. <laughs> yeah. um, so when was it released? Um, this was released in July 1995. Um, so basically that could be within 30 days of the movie or a day of the movie. Okay. There's no specific date, but um, it's practically the same the time same as the, the movie. movie yeah. Yeah. So the game um, opens up, as you'd expect with Power Rangers, a uh, ridiculous menu. Lightning and fucking craziness everywhere. Pretty cool music, actually. Yeah. I quite enjoyed not it. Not bad at all. Yeah, not bad at all. Um, so... From the get-go, you're kind of given high hopes. Yeah. You've got one-player, two-player options. So we play two-player. Because mm-hmm. why wouldn't you? Exactly. Yes. Uh, so then you get to pick which Power Rangers you want. And this is when we realised we think they used the TV cast rather than the film cast. Yeah, except I had a little look. and So the reason we thought this was because the pictures look... Nothing like Yeah, it. very, very hmm. dissimilar to, to the, yeah. Uh, to yeah. the uh, movie characters. But by the looks of it, the TV cast were the same cast as the movie cast, so that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense, <laughs> doesn't it? Yeah. But Billy, I know, but the, Billy, the one I yeah, don't get yeah. is Billy. Billy's, Billy's a complete different person. Yeah, Billy's the one I like. The other ones, like I, I could kind of get Kimberly, Aisha. I, I kind of got Tommy. Yeah, the rest of them, not so sure. But like Billy, like Billy was a complete polar Billy, opposite. Yeah, what the fuck? So like in the movie, Billy was like 40 where everyone else was 19. <laughs> he <laughs> was, wasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> he was, yeah. Like, was like, oh, he's like this like... He's a, he's a veteran. <laughs> 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 I've been Power Ranger for years. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm too old for but this But in shit. the game, he was basically... Uh, I don't a know, just stereotypical like a, nerd. Yeah, like yeah. races and And perhaps glasses. the youngest of the group as well. Yeah, just odd. And like his special move was that he hid and fucking threw a load of bombs out. Why do Weird. nerds always have bombs? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, like every game where there's a nerd, it's like special moves. Like, I don't know, give him, give him a bomb or something. He probably likes chemistry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so you pick your character and you've got the six and they all have different um, moves. You've got, yes. you've got your forward punch slash kick. Mm-hmm. You've got your down punch slash kick. And mm-hmm. you've got your up slash punch kick. Kick, fluck, punk. <laughs> what he said. Punk. Which also, the up one 
I don't really get it. So, so th- this is basically like a side scrolling final fight kind of thing. Uh, beat him up, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but the like the difference of this one is that you have two levels to the game. So like, yeah, you at the bottom you can press R or L and you can go up to the top. Yes, or yeah. Back down, which yeah, yeah, you can diversify. So you have enemies walking on either side. Mm. So, I mean, enemies die within one to four hits. So, but if you can't be bothered, you can press up and punch. Yeah, and you can just fuck him off to the other side, yeah. <laughs> and he and he'll just mosey on away. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Well, or if you really can't be bothered, you can just go to the other side, <laughs> carry on walking, and your enemy's just gonna walk straight past you yeah. and off the screen. I'm assuming there's footage going on right now, and you'll be seeing a lot of that. <laughs> enemies just blindly walking past with not a care in the world. Yeah. So we tested it, and like with Scott Pilgrim versus the World, same kind of game. Yeah. Enemies ran on screen. And then they went to attack you. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. This one, the enemy's walking along. If you happen to get in the way, they might attack you. Yeah. If not, they'll happily just mosey on it's, through and just it's, carry it's on. It kind their of depends deck. on the personality of the putty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, whether yeah. he's whether he's a work shy freeloader or a real go getter, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it depends on whether he'll punch you in the face or not. But the thing is, is like the real. It's ah, uh, where there are games like Final Fight which defines, like, a lot of kind of beat-em-ups and side-scrollers. And, like, even though it's older than this, it's got, like, quite a... Not a developed combo system, but it does have a combo yeah, system. Yeah, like, surely Streets of Rage was before this. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, Streets of Rage is, like, 91 or 90 or some um, shit. It's a little bit better. Yeah, but that's the thing. It's, like, the real shame is that, you know, look at the Power Rangers, like, in the series or the film, you know combos are what they do they never like do one thing it's like a backflip into seven kicks into like you know a spinning punch Mm -hmm. and then like a backflip away it's dramatic and theatrical yeah and this game is it kind of takes away the emphasis of you being a power ranger punch punch low kick yeah, it's yeah, exactly. And it doesn't it's, it doesn't really blend that well either. No, so it's no, punch, punch, it's, crouch for a while, then maybe yeah. kick. Whilst whilst the enemy is like powering up a punch, yeah, like, you've already ducked, so you're gonna miss anyway. Yeah. They it's, don't have time to then duck to get ready. Yeah, to kick. it's not fluid. It's not it's, at all. it's like it's made of stone, you know, and it's it's rigid. And when it's a like a beat 'em up, you want some fluidity in the action and yeah. the motion because yeah. that's what keeps you engaged, you know. Like like Scott Pilgrim, like, like that's the only yeah. one we've played on this channel, so you can you know viewers you, you can take that, that, that for gameplay. reference. But like, like Scott Pilgrim, like Streets of Rage, I could pick up that game now, mm. play it, and find out a new combo that yeah. I didn't know before. Exactly, exactly. I yeah. feel like within five minutes, not even five minutes, we five had this minutes, sus. I knew all yeah. my combos and before the end of your first three enemies. Yeah, you knew you knew what you could do. Yeah. Um. So when you kill each enemy, they drop a little lightning bolt, which goes mm-hmm. into your power meter. Yes. So it reminded me of uh, Golden Axe. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, looks. very much. Um, and then depending on how much of your bar you have filled, you can do a power move. And mm. you can, it's essentially like a, the, the big bomb. Yeah. So it's like a, either an enemy wipe or just like a cool move just to get you out of trouble yeah. or whatever. Nothing too fancy. To be no, it, it's much of a muchness, really, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But then you fill that bad boy up, and what do you get? <laughs> it's ta- it's go go fucking Power Rangers. It's fucking what was it? Uh, pterodactyl. Good time. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> Shit. I sold out. Now I've got a poofy guy. <laughs> 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 five hundred yeah. people. Well, first we've got to find <laughs> five hundred people. Yeah. Actually, got to get a million viewers. <laughs> so I think you're safe. Yeah, that's true. That's we have to have a million we've only, we've, only, we've only got 12, so we're 999,988. <laughs> so close. Soon. Yeah, we'll, we'll get there. But when we do have a million, they'll probably be going in our back catalogue, and then I'll get a load <laughs> of like spam messages, just like, you know you got it's to do time. now, Tom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, the oh, time has come. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Shit. So, yeah, so you... you <laughs> <laughs> we'll stop thinking about... Oh, his finger up yeah, let, let's let's stop that. So yeah, you get your power up, and then you you, you get to finally be a power. Because up to this point, we've played for ages, just as the like we, the we, human. Well, we only character. upgraded yeah. to power rangers the first time because we came up against the boss. Yeah, so we did the whole it, first it, it, it does it mandatory. Yeah. Um. So you become the power rangers. So basically, you all become the same. It looked like the same sprite. Yeah. 
just mm. different one, colours. The only one even though she's a woman, just as hench as the red one. Yeah, they're mm. like they're all the same build. This, yeah, the, but they just change their color and the move sets are the same. Yeah, but like the Power Rangers had their own moves. Yeah, set, I mean that's they're the same as each other. That's Power like, the that's biggest weird. fucking disappointment. The fact that they kept it as a generic move set, they literally just kept it as one thing, uh, recolored. Yeah, that's yeah, such a fucking lazy. disappointment. Yeah, because I, I was lazy. like, oh, we're fucking, we're finally Power Rangers. Yeah, Here we go. and then. There's, 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 there's nothing exciting. No, in, in fact, in many ways, it was more kind of engaging being the people because at least there's some diversity between the two players if you're playing as different characters. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And also, as a Power Ranger, your your strength goes up, but I think that kind of makes it worse. You're just punching characters yeah. off the screen, and you just yeah. Like, so like yeah, you can just fly point, through stages. Like level two, I think I started as a Power Ranger because mm. uh, I think you died right at the end of the boss, didn't you? Or which... oh, that was me. Yeah, yeah, that and was then, me. So it's level two started. I'm just walking along because I'm a Power Ranger. It's one hit. So I literally just walk, punch. Yeah. Punch. Walk, punch. And once again, drop like. Drop kick. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, once again, like, even less engaging than it was previously. Yeah. You know? Like, we're talking about the combo system. It becomes even less of a combo system when you're one punching everything you're on one, screen. You're the one punch man. Yeah. What is the one punch man? Yes, I think it's. Uh, I'm going to offend a lot of people. It's, the, it's an anime or a. Uh, Thing. What's what's the Japanese like anime where it's naughty hentai? Is it hentai? It's not a hentai. You sure? Because One Punch Man would be a very <laughs> funny, <laughs> very funny hentai. No, it's uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's <laughs> yeah, I don't actually. I haven't seen it for tonight. Oh, uh, that's given me uh, another of... movie idea. Chao Tzu's in Dragon Ball now. It's great. He's just got beaten up by Krillin. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! Oh, fucking hell. Uh, mate, I'm fucking that makes me watching. very happy. I, don't, I watched like, one episode. They were picking him up as like the so main man though, weren't they? He literally just, he was a little cheating bastard, to be honest with you. Because he, he, he can fly. They're on the world the world tournament. He just flew up in the air. Back. Yeah, don't don't worry. There's lots of them in in the studio. <laughs> in the studio. <laughs> There's lots in the yeah. studio. Um, they rent the space out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're waiting for their turn. Like, Come on, guys. <laughs> uh, yeah. So. Oh fuck! There's loads of the motherfuckers. No, don't don't worry about them. There's two. Why are there so many today? Yeah. It was cold Halloween outside. was the other day, guys. I'm looking. Yeah. Why 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 weren't you here for Halloween? Because we weren't here Halloween. Yeah, that might be true. I was taught. Yeah, that's a good point. We failed at Halloween. We did fail. We didn't do a Halloween episode. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, fuck so yeah, back, back, back to Power Rangers. So, uh, another thing that kind of pissed me off, or mm. didn't piss me off, but I was a bit disappointed in, is the fact that it's the game of the movie. Yes. You expect it to have like a quite a strong yeah. storyline. No storyline is established, but fine, whatever. But also the... You know, the enemies have nothing to do with the movie no. at this point. They're I, to they do with Zed, aren't they? If the further you go on. But, yeah, there's no there's no correlation between the movie and the game. At, no, no, the not at all. Two levels. Not at all. No, none. It just seems um, like a waste. We didn't even mm. know that they were ooze men. They're putties. Putty men, until yeah. we looked it up. Mm. But they're not. They're not. They are putties. They're Zed's men. Oh, they're Zed's men. Ooze, oh, ooze, okay, boy, okay. ooze boys are Ivan Ooze. Boys. Where's still, where's still that, looking for the Where's Daddy Boy gone? They're everywhere. Oh my god, no! <laughs> <laughs> it's eating my leg! <laughs> um, but yeah, so the, the game just had just nothing to it. No, it's yeah. it's a flat experience at best, really, isn't it? I mean, there's, there's, there's I, nothing... I can't even think of anything else to say about it. Well, I mean... Like just, I mean, going over it. In one thing, I did like. I like the sound in terms of like the punching sounds. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> the ing yeah. of the game was pretty good. But like, you know, it's like it's quite punchy and arcadey and sounds good. The music wasn't bad. It's re it's repetitive. Yeah, it does get a bit repetitive. But it's not bad. Like, yeah, it's I mean, worse. we'll always say this. Like, think Wayne's World and think um, Back to the Future. Back to the Future. Oh my god! You know, god. like. It's not, by no means is it the worst uh, music we've heard in the game. No. Um, graphic. The Future was the episode that started the podcast and end nearly ended it. <laughs> <laughs> it really fucking was. It like, really is it worth it? it our our oh. most difficult hurdle has been starting this podcast. <laughs> yeah. um, but And we still haven't gone to Back to the Future 2. Because we're too scared. No, I, I don't, even, the don't even fucking want to. Oh. But um, yeah, so 
you know, like animation wise, like not great and graphics graphics <laughs> are what I they can't are. See the spider. Are you still worrying about the spider? No, I'm just worried about Steph's looks. He keeps looking. Like, as the spider, and that's like, creeping yeah, me out Yeah, actually, more. he was doing it earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Freaked me out. <laughs> it's when something just like moves in my eye line. I have to look at it. I can't just be like, oh, I'm going to ignore that thing. Just moving. pretend it's not there. <laughs> yeah. That's what Kevin Spacey said. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> so, are there any, any other points you want to make about the game? Oh, shit. Um, um, that wasn't a point about the game. Um... I've, I've got no. them. I, my notes for today have been so lazy. It's, it's on a fucking envelope. <laughs> <laughs> it's still got. It's still got the fucking bit of tape over it where the little seal is. I can't um, wait for you to send that to someone. Yeah. I've got quite good thumping sounds. <laughs> yeah, do have a good thump quite sound. good thumping sounds. Yeah. What does that say? Must isn't great. Bug. I can't read my sure, own writing. Yeah. Um, Right. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, not really relevant to the movie or plot. The graphics are okay, but for the time, there has been considerably better, and the su- uh, the animation in itself is pretty subpar. But like, you know, it is what it is. It's quite a generic side-scrolling beat 'em up. Yeah. You know. I was yeah. trying to have a look at some reviews for the game, but it's just it is just very middle of the road. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Fucking. I don't know what you expect. <laughs> no, it's, well, that's it. It's, hard, no, it's, it's, no hard, like... it's hard to define it because it, there's no definition yeah. about it. You know, there's nothing for it to be it, defined by. It could be any game. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, right, I can't seem to find any reviews for it, so we'll just say they're all middle of the road. Well, I'd imagine so. Uh, should we look at the cool wall? Let's, Let's do, it. do it. Okay. So, cool wall. Here it is. Can we all see the cool wall? We can. Right, yeah. so top five. Uh, number one is still Goldeneye. I, d- I just don't see that game dethroned. I, no. oh, I don't know, lads. One of the episodes coming up. Shrek. Having a laugh. <laughs> uh, number two, Warriors for the PS2. Mm-hmm. Number three, Hercules for the PlayStation 1. Number four, Aladdin for the Mega Drive. And number five... Powerpuff Girls, Chemical Go- Extraction. Pilgrim vs. The World <laughs> PS3. <laughs> Yeah, we'll get to Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, and then sitting at number 20 is Little Nicky for the Game Boy Color. Uh, 21, Back to the Future Part 1 for the NES. 22, The Crow, PlayStation 1. 23, Wayne's World for the SNES. And 24, Powerpuff Girls Chemical Extraction. Yeah. Uh, you know what s- strikes me as really funny now? Because we have been playing a considerable amount of bad games... Um, Back to the Future 1 seems way too high on this list. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know? It's, it? it's like 21, and I'm like, oh, that can't be right, can <laughs> yeah, it? No, <laughs> we, we, like, really? Like, what fuck? the fuck? It's nearly out of the bottom five. Yeah, but remember, it's what the console can do. Yeah. Uh, it's true. And it's the true. PlayStation 1 was capable of many great things. Yeah. F- f- think was not one think of them. Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, think, <laughs> think that game changer right there. <laughs> think Final Fantasy. Any of them. Seven, eight, nine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. It's so, true enough. Right. So, like, the thing is, uh, it's it's hard, this one, in many ways, because, like, the game, like, it is so middle, and I want to put it middle, but because I really just loved the fucking movie i found it so enjoyable and ridiculous i almost want to put the game higher up just because the movie that corresponds to it was so fucking enjoyable do you know what i mean yeah that's, i see what you mean i but feel bad i feel bad works. slating the game because the movie itself is so great but uh i don't know that's not how it i works. think i know where i'm gonna put it otherwise wayne's world would be higher because that film's great very true yeah very um, true it's gonna be middle so middle middle low, well, what, what are you thinking adam I'm thinking somewhere around Toy Story 1, Finding Nemo. Oh, yeah, I was thinking just above Friday the 13th. So just below Finding Nemo. Yeah. You know, I'll give you that, yeah, I'd agree. Well, it doesn't matter Because I, I did say, prefer <laughs> Finding Nemo. <laughs> yeah, Finding Nemo was a lot more fun. To be fair, I'll probably Wait, enjoy oh, Friday yeah, the 13th you... more than this. Yeah, I, 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 I would probably put it below Friday the 13th. It's just slowly getting lower and lower. You know what? <laughs> you know what? Friday the 13th is still considered one of the worst video games of all time. <laughs> and we are still, like, defending it its bad. corner. Yeah, it wasn't no, we're that still bad. defending its corner as one of the most average video games <laughs> of all time. <laughs> it, wasn't like, it wasn't that bad. No, not at all. 
Powerpuff Girls was much worse. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you that. It was. It's worse. So what do you think? Under yeah, Friday the 13th? Under 13? Friday the 13th. Yeah, I, I think, think so. I, don't I think, think, I I think we should this. keep um, defending the Friday the 13th's honour. And also, yeah. because remember that scene in Friday the 13th of the sleeping bag? <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. Oh god. <laughs> can, was... we watch, can we watch that again? Like just Fuck yeah. That scene specifically. Fuck yeah. Potentially for, the whole movie. For viewers, uh, definitely, or, or listeners, if you're on SoundCloud or iTunes, uh, definitely go and listen to our, our 13th episode, which is Friday the 13th, where we watched uh, Friday the 13th part 7. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Fuck the me. The new, yeah. So um, you'll get what I'm talking about with this uh, sleeping bag scene. It's one of the fucking most brilliant on screen so deaths funny. you could ever imagine. Yeah, so do funny. watch that episode 13. It's absolutely fucking brilliant. Uh, right. So. Cash grab. Is this a cash grab? Oh, who, saying, who wants to go first? I'm going to go first and I'm going to say yes. Mm. Yeah. Um, because. As we said, it could literally be any game. Yeah, like, yeah. So, like, it could be any game in the fact that you pick a player, has a different move set to everyone else, and then when you build up enough of the power meter, you transform into uh, a better being. Yeah. An altered beast. Like, do yes, you know, do you know yes. what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's just like you, yeah, you build enough power, you become the, the next level up until mm. you get hurt enough or die. Yeah. Um, and there's nothing that makes it Power Rangers yet. Like, no. yeah, it's, you've got the enemies that have the, got the little Z things, but that's obviously just a sprite, so that could be anything. Yeah, like, it's, it, literally, it, it's, it feels to me like they had this game sat there and they just changed the sprites to make it work. Yeah, it's Power a non entity, isn't it? Like, the fact there's no story to it. You literally just. I can't even remember what the first level was. It was. Uh, in it's a like supermarket. Yeah, it's like down, yeah, downtown it streets. Yeah, and they went into a supermarket. So yeah. like, it's clearly that uh, well, there was no supermarket in the film. <laughs> no, no. I mean, so it, like, it didn't even have like a cool skydiving scene or anything. Like, they could have worked with it. Yeah, they could have done more with the game. I know it was on the snares, but they still could have done a lot with oh, it. Oh, like, it's to make more shit tons. Yeah. yeah. I mean, la lazy it seems too kind a word. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's beyond I lazy. I don't think it's fair to call video game developers lazy if, like, because. I mean, I don't know how you do it. So no, 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 of course, of but, course. Yeah, this is lazy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say not a cash grab. Ooh. Oh. Oh. No, I'm joking. Of course, it's a fucking cash grab. <laughs> <laughs> I was really looking forward to hearing your argument. There. Okay, I, I can put one up for you. <laughs> the game probably has more plot development than the movie. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Guy's got a point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Any other points? No, yeah, I'm totally it. in agreement with you. Yeah. Like, literally everything you said. It is a cash grab. And that's it. Yeah. Who would have thought, eh? Who would have thought? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. So there you go. Power Rangers, the movie, the game, featuring Ivan <laughs> <laughs> TM, <laughs> is a fucking cash grab. Who would have thought? <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching or listening if you're on SoundCloud and iTunes. Um, be sure to check us out on Twitter and Instagram at cash grab podcast and be sure to get in touch with us by email if you want to nobody's ever gonna fucking <laughs> no. do that but just in case if One you do day, want to someone will email us <laughs> yeah. a suggestion yeah. yeah but suggestions it's time tom <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah maybe maybe not that that'll be like 30 years down the line yeah. <laughs> when the royalties start kicking in yeah. you made 14 p <laughs> <laughs> can't wait but um yeah Fuck me, yeah. So yeah, get in touch with us through Twitter, Instagram, or email, which is cashgrabpodcast at gmail dot com for any suggestions or, or just YouTube to say comments. hello or YouTube comments. Uh, yeah. So subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on SoundCloud and iTunes, and we'll be sure to catch you on the flippity flip. Yeah. Later's. See you later. Later. Have another drumstick now. Are you gonna stop the camera, mate? Oh! Oh! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Mate, it's five. <laughs> you were it's precious. You just smashed. That's how hard it is. That's how brutal it is. I thought he dropped it on the floor by the way he reacted. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. My refresher.